Hello, I'm the Artsy Crafter. Today I want to show you how to create my Happy Mother's Day pop-up flower bouquet. So you can see it has a really fun front cover and a back cover. I've given you lots of options, of course, with boys and with girls. And when your loved one opens it, look at that. The pop-up flower bouquet is such a beauty. They're going to absolutely love it. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to create your pop-up flower bouquet. Okay, I think we're ready to begin putting our pop-up bouquet together. So first off, let's talk about what you'll need. First, you'll need your base template and I gave you five different options. This one has a little girl. Of course, I have some with little boys. You'll need your front cover, back cover. I give you four options there. You'll need a large flower and a bow. And the small flowers, you decide if you want to do those as well. Okay, once you've chosen everything that you require, then you're going to color everything. Step two, complete any of the writing activities. So there's a spot here, a place to put your name, and there's a writing activity on the back page. And then step three, cut out the large flower and the bow and of course if you're using the small flowers cut those out as well and then come back when you have that done and I'll show you how to put this together okay in this first step all we're going to do is the front cover back cover so you have it all completed and all you're going to do is fold it in half so make sure you line those edges up really well And you've got your front cover, back cover ready to go. And you can set that aside. And then do the same thing with your base template. What you're going to do is fold it in half this way. So again, line up all your edges perfectly and fold that in half and come on back when you have those two things done. Okay, so now we're going to make three cuts. We're going to do a cut along the top of our bouquet holder along the bottom of it and along the base here and the way we do that is we shut the template and I can very clearly see here one cut two cuts and three cuts now when you cut I think it's easiest to cut closer to the handle than the tip of the scissors because you can be more accurate in your stopping so you can very clearly see the line that I left for you one cut, two cuts, and three cuts, okay? Now, when you have that done, you're going to make the folds. So starting with the larger part of the holder, what you're going to do is make the fold on that dashed line, and then do the same thing on this bottom one. Right to the tip here, make a fold, and then turn it over and fold it back the other way. That way those creases are really flexible. Okay, and then you can fold it flat and open it up. And what you're going to do is pop those out. I'll show you how to do that though as soon as you get caught up to me. So in this next step now, we're going to pop out this portion of our bouquet holder. Use your scissors if you need them. Otherwise, what you're going to do is reach to the back, try to push that forward, and with your hand, what you're going to do is start making that bend forward, and then help it on the back, line up those edges again, and then recrease everything really well because we want our paper to remember that we want it to fold in this direction and open it up and have a look and you can see right away to see how nicely that bouquet holder pops out all right you do that one and then we'll do the same thing with the bottom one Okay, now we're going to do this bottom one now it's a little bit tricky because you can see when we have folds this is a valley fold because it goes down. This is a mountain fold because it comes up. 
underneath it is going to be a valley, then a mountain, then a valley again. So this is a little bit tricky. Now I have large hands, so what I have to do, see if I can grab a hold of it, otherwise I poke it from the back end. Now, when you do that, see if you can get a hold of it, this line here might want to pop up on you. Just remind it it's supposed to go down. And then take this one and start bringing it forward. And then I help it a little bit, see that? I help it a little bit, and then I pinch it a little bit here, and then I take both of those forward, and again, recrease, okay? So not, not making light of it. I know that one's a little bit tricky. You might need some help with that one, okay? So when we're done, look at that, voila. Everything looks beautiful. Now we're going to take our cover and we're going to glue that inside our cover. So um, I'll let you get caught up to me and come on back when you've got both of your bouquet parts popped out. Okay, now we're going to take that pop out and place it inside our cover. So make sure you have it opening correctly. So line everything up, get your glue stick ready, and I'll show you how you can glue it accurately. So open it up. Put glue in the four corners. So one, two, three, and four. And then I would put a little bit of glue here between the bottom of the bouquet holder and the bottom of the top. And then run some glue along each of the edges. All right. And just close the front cover. And then using your hands, press down really well so that's nice and snug. And then turn to the back cover and do the same thing. So start with the four corners. And again, in between the two parts of the bouquet holder. And then a little bead. Oopsies, forgot that one. On the top and the bottom. And then just close your back cover. And again, Hold that for a moment so that's nice and set. So come on back and we'll go put in our flowers and our bow. Okay, let's start with the bow. So all you're going to do here is put glue behind the middle part of that bow. And just set it in place down here, okay? And I like it to stick up a little bit so I help it do that. All right, now the large flowers. They're symmetrical. And so what you have to do is line up the base and those flower tips and the leaf tips and just fold it in half. And this part up top is not so symmetrical. I want it to offset it a tad. So this is going to go in here now. That's the part that's going to pop up. That's why we fold it the exact same way that we fold the bouquet holder. So that can go in here. And if you're quitting at that point, it's a beautiful product. All you have to do is put some glue on either side here um, and tuck it inside. And then with your finger, you're going to have to hold that in place to glue it. If you want to put these little ones in, what you can do is put them in before you glue this one and just making sure that they get off-centered uh, off because you don't want to interfere with this crease line. Now, I think it looks beautiful just like this. So I'm going to quit at that point. So here I am putting glue here on the base and tucking it inside and again, lining up this crease with the crease of the bouquet holder, okay? And with my fingers, I'm just going to try and tuck that in place and you can help it by closing the card and then recreasing where that bow is and recreasing where those flowers are. Good. And then when mama or grandma or auntie or sister pops it open, look at that. How pretty is that? They're going to love their pop-up flower bouquet. So, thanks for crafting with me today. I have loads of other crafts available on Teachers Pay Teachers or on TES. 
and I'll see you soon.